who have you learned more from, men or women? And I was like, wow. That's something I really had to think about. That's deep. I think through my journeys of life, I've probably learned more things from a woman. Me too. And you know why I'm going to say that? I'm going to say that because it seems like it's more, like you're going to get more from women. It's like women, especially if they're part of your family or they love you or they're in a relationship with you or they're like your old head or they, they're more willing to give out information that can help you, your journey through life be better. Right. Sometimes a man, it could be an old head, it could be a family member, they'll be hating them. They don't want you to do better than them. And they'll give you, and they'll give you some advice just to take advantage of you. Take advantage of you. Hey, you on a dumb, you just listen, youngin, take this gun, take this package, man. You're going to go to the top, right. baby. Right. You're so, going to the top of the world. So I, I, I would probably say that through my journeys in life, I've mm -hmm. learned more from women than I've learned from men. And, I, and I've learned more from just experiencing it and going through it than I've learned from anybody because experience is your best teacher. You know what I'm saying? So, but if I had to say between a man and a woman, I'd probably say I've learned more from a, a woman in my journeys than I did men. Absolutely. Because my dad wasn't, my dad came around when I was 15. He's, he's taught me a lot. He's taught me a lot of things since he came back around, but, my mama really scoped me, you know what I'm saying, up until that time to be to be the man that I am today. So I'm going to give a shout-out to, to Big Gil, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to give a shout-out to uh, your mama, Jackie, because I'm assuming that's what you talk about, Nanny. Nanny. Nanny gave me game. My mom gave me game, too. But, like, it ain't just them. It was a lot of people that I came through in my life that gave me some game. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about a lot of game in life. I mean, like, you know, I'm talking about some – Real, real tough flight. Like, damn, wow, this is how you make a move. Like, even me, when I came home, it was a lot of women that gave me game about a lot of stuff out here. Technology, how to move, operate. They just was giving the game. Like, no, wow, this I sit down and talk. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll be going to do some promotion for them or something. They'll sit down and like, yeah, I use this. Well, like, the fact is, nobody in the world, and to all the youngins up and coming, nobody in this world will have your back like a woman that love you. Oh yeah, and, and that, I'm talking about whether it's your mom, whether it's your your aunt, whether it's your grandma, whether it's your old lady, whether it's your girlfriend. Nobody will have your back like a woman that love you. And I'm pretty sure people that go to jail they realize that because you know all these young say it's my day one, my day one. I ride or die for this. Then you go to jail and ain't gonna send you nothing, man. And I agree with you because I ain't going to hold you every, every day. It's not a day that it go by. Shout out to my baby. My baby give me game every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's always something we talking about and we communicating around. And she'll give me a perspective because, you know, game ain't always got to be, oh, this how you do this and that. It could be just this perspective and an outlook. It could just change your outlook on things and just, hey, you seeing things, you know, clear. You Shout know what I mean? You could, learn, you could learn things from the bad things women do too. We, yeah, you a whore teach you a lot. Absolutely. Dealing with whores. Absolutely. Dealing with whores. Uh, dealing with whores will uh, show you what type of woman you don't want to be with. But let me ask you a question. So that's 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 a that's a lesson in itself. What birthday? Some some guys like whores. What birth that word though? Did an insecure man birth that word that a woman that was that was living out her truth and being promiscuous is a whore? Where did that word come no, from? No, 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 no. What I'm just no. asking. I'm just asking. Uh, well, it's a great word. That, that's that's let's get it right. Whoever made that word up is a is a great person because he gave us something to put a title on for the bitches who don't really respect their body. No, but why is it always got to be a woman? Why it always got to be why whore? Because, like, because like, like 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 we listen because in we, life, we, in life what? It's it's not fifty fifty unless you're talking about the workplace. You hear me? That's not fifty fifty. But but because at the end of the day, if you got a daughter, and she she's running around here getting glazed. She getting laid down, sprayed down, popping her and dropping her. Is ejaculating and evacuating. She's a, she's considered a whore, even among her peers. Her peers be like, oh, she gang my little whore. You yeah, women I, women say it. Women say it. I've never heard a guy say. Get all the bitches, little whore. Have you ever heard that? 